What is going on everyone? Football Villain here with another NASCAR Heat 4 Challenge video for you today. Today we're going to be doing Challenge 7 of 20. Um, this challenge is called Stay in the Draft where you take control of Denny Hamlin. Um, basically you're going to be in a small pack with two laps to go and we're trying to just catch the leader. And if you don't use the draft basically the way the game I guess works for the for this challenge if you're not in the draft, you're basically, it's going to be basically impossible to catch him. So you do have to utilize the draft to get up to the leader. And I guess for this, you're going to have to win. Okay, so you do have to win the race as well. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. Alright guys, so as soon as you get into the, as soon as you get into the, uh, to the race, uh, one of the biggest things I have, this is any plate track. And a plate track meaning Daytona or Talladega, the bigger tracks, Daytona, Talladega, or Michigan. If you race any of those three tracks, you always put your driving aid on expert. You always do that. It doesn't matter how bad the car drives or anything, you always put it on expert because you need that speed for those tracks. You have to have speed because that's basically the whole track is speed. If you don't have speed, then you know, you're not going to do very well. But that, that's my biggest thing. Just always make sure on the plate tracks that you run an expert uh, driving uh, aid. So, man, I guess this challenge, you really need to uh, get up towards him. So, yeah. So, even though we didn't get it there, I guess the biggest thing right here is to use your hood cam. Um, it just works better pushing somebody, in my opinion. Um, I know you can't see the whole car, but you can at least see the hood, and you can see where you're pushing Newman. And I can already tell the difference pushing him. And man, he is just so squirrely. I, I really just do not like that part about this. The fact that he's squirrely like that is not good. But you have to do this or else you're not going to catch Chase Elliott. You're just not going to be able to catch him the way they're explaining it. All right, we're here. Me and Newman are here. We're giving a huge shot down the back. And even though I'm pushing him a good ways, he's like Elliot is still kind of just chilling. All right, so now here's the here's the moment of truth. We got to get a huge shot down the back right here. Elliot's gonna try to block. Oh, we're going for it. We're going for it. Oh my word. Try to get around Elliot here. We do clear Elliot. Oh, he's there. He's there. I don't even know. And it looks like we're going to get it. So, if it was me on that challenge, honestly, if like what I would tell you guys right there is to probably even though I pushed Newman and I let him go right there, it would have probably been better to keep pushing Newman a little bit, let him get out in front, and then try to make the pass instead of the way I did it. Because that was a little... That was a little much there, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But I do manage to get the challenge done. So it is pretty crucial that you push Newman... Uh, up to the front because if you do not push Newman you will not get this challenge done so I can see why that would be a little tough um, but yeah guys just like I said make sure that uh, make sure that your driving aid is on expert because if it's not man there's no way you're going to be able to catch Chase Elliott it's pretty much just going to be impossible so yeah guys uh, comment if you guys have any questions on this challenge uh, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and I'll try to help you guys out as much as I can um, like this video if you guys want, and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will catch you guys in either the, ne the next uh, video or maybe even the next live stream. Until then, you guys have a good day.